All right, welcome back. Uh, yeah, we got a new turn here. Uh, we have found a mineral cave, another earth gem, and a brigand layer, uh, as one does. And uh, we have a battle in Dendra Niagara. This is our main army moving out, and we're moving off the capital of Bretonia. And uh, are going to attack these fellows here. And we were anticipating we might get attacked on top of uh, Bretonia, but it doesn't appear that that happened. Um, we did get a new Chaos Lord, so these are the Toad Riding guys. And we got uh, eight units promoted. And we got a new Heroic Deed. We got Heroic Quickness on somebody. This actually is reasonably important. Uh, I wish I could rename them now, but... Um, yeah, so I've actually gone ahead and put in uh, move orders for this turn, but we're going to be moving... Here's my thought process. We're going to keep these guys. We're not going to have anybody... We, we're building a temple here in um, Bretonia. So I'm not going to keep the Sacreds. We're going to have these guys uh, stay here. And the Sacreds are going to, on top of this dude, move out uh, and attack down here, which actually I need to... Uh, probably put them over this way. Actually, we'll split them up into two squads. And uh, we'll put them on either flank here. Uh, and that will be good. So we've got about... Uh, probably about 350. It's going to be a good number of turns. Um, I'd also like to see this. Uh, but it doesn't appear we're going to be gifted with that just yet. Um, hmm... Yeah, so that's basically it for this turn. Uh, slapping out some more recruits. We've got a Death 3 and a Nature 3, which is cool. I forget the highest we can get on them. Uh, yeah, there's not a chance to get a 4, which is unfortunate. But we do want to keep rolling for a Earth 2, I believe. Uh, and we're getting quite close to being able to cast Mother Oak. So I don't think we are going to... Uh... Oh, we can also do Rune Smashers. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. All right, we got a new turn. Let's see what happens. First, they are attacking us in Bretonia. Hopefully not with too much. Uh, we have a lot of PD. I don't know if we have enough to fight this, though. Oh, they've intercepted uh, my sacred. So the, these sacreds that were on these flanks were moving to an adjacent fort, but the troops in that fort moved back into Bretonia, so the sacreds are here, which is kind of good and kind of bad. Uh, we don't have a priest to bless them, which is unfortunate, so we waste a lot of their potential. Uh, this is a god. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, we killed the god. Uh, we lost a lot of sacreds, though. Uh, shit. And we lost a Marauder Chieftain, 9 Cast Warriors, 13 Chosen Warriors, and a Putrid Blightkin. But we kept the PD. Which is nice. This is actually, well, I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it. Uh, we're, of course, going to take this. And uh, knowing how the AI works, there's a very good chance that... Uh, hmm. We need more stuff over here. Okay, let's do uh, these guys, put them in separate squads. Oy, okay, what are we going to do? Oh, hello. Uh, we got uh, our very first. Oh, wait, Nurgle's Rot has spread. Okay, that's really nice. Silver Fangs. And it's gotten removed from Dovin. And it's spread here as well. Okay, so we've got oh, we've got a lot of Nurgles. So let's see. I don't think we have oh, we got Nurgle's rot back in uh back in Ascunia here, which is quite nice. Uh we don't have it here. We do have a plague doctor hiding. We have it here, we don't have it here. So we're gonna go ahead and move this plague doctor down here. We have not yet got it here. We haven't gotten it in our capital. I'm not actually sure if we can get, get it in our capital. We got Nurgle's Rot here, which means we can go ahead and move this over this way. 
Um, we also can get it right here. So we're going to need to move somebody over this way shortly. Um, oh my gosh, look at all these chaos spawn that we have. <clears throat> what lovely creatures. Um, I think we'll put these guys on guard commander. Got a putrid blightkin. That's quite nice. We got two more sacreds here, so that's nice. Put this guy here. Um, put this guy on guard commander as well. Um, ooh, this guy evolved as well. All right, we're finally starting to get the demon princes. Um, let's make sure we read through all these events. Um, an unknown monster joined. So an exalted hero drew the ju and s a new a chaos spawn. Okay, so this is a this was bad. I think this is the fifteen percent chance that uh, the guy just dies and we don't get uh, a cool dude. But we got a chaos lord, which is quite nice. Okay, so. I mean, all in all, kind of good uh, good news. There is a risk that these goblins are just going to surround us. Because they're sieging much faster than us. Um, now, we have a lot of troops over here we can go ahead and move around. Um, what's the siege strength here? We're at 310. So we're God, I really what's it do I have better sieging stuff? 2.6 3.2 I mean those are definitely better than this. Uh I don't know if I'm super pumped on that though. Uh we could summon stuff as well. Um, okay, so we built, we have a temple and lab here. We'll go ahead and start making, oh god, we're too poor. Uh, I was going to say we go ahead and start making some of these priests, but um, are they going to attack? They've got 90 and 40. And their god could keep coming back. I think we, um, I think I need to keep patrolling. We're actually going to patrol with these guys too. Um... We're going to have these holding attack closest. We're going to put them towards the front, and I'm going to put this guy right here. We're going to have him do Blessing and, or and Cast. And uh, then we're going to have these guys on attack, like so. Uh, and the shield guys will put a little farther forward because they're slower. And, uh, yeah, I would love to be able to do more stuff here, but... Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is the, the guy, the Demon Prince. Uh, this guy actually has <coughs> the legendary Berserker trait. So he gets Berserker 4, which is going to help his natural protection get to pretty high levels when he goes Berserk. Um, the other important thing about this chassis is that it's Combat Caster. That's a little anti-synergistic with Berserker. And honestly, the paths on them aren't really high enough where the Combat Caster matters a ton. But um, anyway, still super cool. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Is I think we're going to have... Does this guy fly too? Yeah. Um, I think we're actually going to have these guys come over here. This guy's size 9. And we're going to have this guy jump in. So he's going to do Blessing and Large... Um, I don't think we're going to give them fire resistance or fire weakness. Uh, blessing retreat, something like this. And we're going to have this guy buff himself up. He's going to do personal regen, which we don't have. Fuck. Uh, okay, we actually don't need him. Blessing. Enlarge. Skeletal body, that might help. I think he can survive being surrounded. 
His protection is pretty high, 27. He might need personal regen. Uh, a lot of these... Okay, these are piercing. Yeah, most of these are going to be piercing attacks. I think we're okay. <clears throat> but I do think this guy can now research, because this is kind of a redundant script. Um, okay, so we're going to finish um, enchantment... Our alt 5. Then we're going to pick up alteration 2. Then conjuration 4. Then... Enchantment 3, then we're going to go Construction to get uh, Sanguine Dousing Rods, and we'll start a Blood Economy. Um, but the nice thing about this movement, at least, is we're getting... Um, here we go. Um... Yeah, we're getting these guys mixed in with the uh, army, which is going to add to the siege power. Hopefully we get this in a couple turns. Uh, I really wouldn't mind having a lot more troops. Let's make sure we don't have a build-up here with Altdorf. Um, one thing I wanted to do, by the way, um, that I haven't done, which we're going to do right now, is I wanted to talk about some of these Warhammer factions um, just uh, while we're fighting them. So... Oh, these guys have gone back to uh, a nap, or an apprehensive. We're no longer at war, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so these are the guys we're fighting. We're fighting Bretonia, and uh, they get some kind of cool things. Like, one of them is this battle reliquy, which I believe they get, like, pilgrims that basically it gives them, like, a big retinue or something. I don't really know how this part works, but... Oh, here you can see it's got... Uh, 4d6 pilgrims, one battle pilgrim, two battle pilgrims, and three battle pilgrims at the start of combat. So that's kind of cool. Um, I guess it makes this berserk as well, so you can't have them not engage. But they have a ton of hit points. I don't really know how this works, but it sounds cool. Um, they also get a ton of flavors of knights. That's kind of what Bretonia is known for. So they get these guys, the Grail Knights, which are pretty sick. They have a heavy lance. Uh, or a Bretonian Heavy Lance, which is better than a normal one. Plus a Magical Enchanted Sword, and really good armor, and really good defense. And uh, the Bretonian Destria, yeah, still having MR5. Uh, they get the Battle Pilgrim. They can get these, I think, in any fort. So this is a Recruit Anywhere Sacred, I believe. So that's kind of cool. Between the Grail Knight and this, you're pretty much incentivized to take a pretty strong Bless. These guys have Fire Shield on their god, so that's kind of cool. Um, we've got the Pegasus Knight, um, if we're doing Arcocephale type things. And then we've got uh, the Knight of the Realm, uh, with also with the uh, the Bretonian Heavy Lance. I think it's just bigger base damage, uh, though I'm not totally sure. Um, the Knight's Errant, pretty similar. Um, and then they've got like light mounted units as well. Um, and then a ton of uh, infantry options. Foot Knight of the Realm, these guys are pretty solid. Knight Errant, these guys are undisciplined. A Longbowman, that would be pretty useful to have. And I don't know what else is going to be terribly remarkable here. Halberds are nice. Um, for their mages, they've got an Entreat Duke. I don't really know how this works, but I think you get them and then it's going to replace it with uh, one of 12 Dukes. Um... And then here's a Grail Prophetess, which is a Holy Three, again, leading into like a big, you know, spam blessed troops all over the place sort of build. Um, and it's also nice because they're a healer, so they can heal some of your afflicted knights. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Holy Three doing Divine Blessing everywhere, super nice. Grail Damsels, Grail Maidens. Um, and, and this is an obviously no way... Like, have I prepared or know anything about this? All I know is that they're really like a... Uh, they are a... Ooh, Paladin Lords and Upgrades. How does this happen? A Questing Paladin? Questing Knights are expected to... Uh, yeah, I don't know how, exactly how this works. Okay. 
the Grail Lord. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently they can upgrade, but I don't really know how that works. Here are the different dukes that you get. They're kind of cool. I don't really know. One of the things that's kind of cool about this, uh, about the Warhammer mod, is that there's a ton of units that don't have magic pass. Like, there's a ton of commanders that he makes that uh, don't have magic pass, and you're like, oh, damn, that's pretty cool. Um, the thing is that, like, and some of them do have cool abilities, like a guy back here had Defense Organizer, which is kind of, you know, it's really nice. Um, but they don't have magic paths. There's a lot of effort put into these things, which are of marginal use. Um, maybe some of them are, are very good. Um, but yeah, you know, like a lot of my units don't have magic paths. We're still recruiting them, you know, but like no magic paths. Um, they do turn into guys that have magic paths at least, but, um, yeah, anyway, that's Bretonia. Um, the people we are trying to slaughter, uh, we're getting more chaos night or chaos warriors. That's very good. Uh, I think that's it. We're going to go ahead and hit intern here. All right. Looks like we got a new turn and there's a battle in turn. This is good because they're attacking us on top of their fort. They're not defending Bretonia. I was a little worried about, uh, Uh, I was a little worried about our Plague Lord getting killed. Um, okay, we got a Chaos Lord. That's a good event. We got a Demon Prince. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. All right. Praise to the Urfather. Nurgle's Rot is spread twice. We've got uh, Nurgle's Rot in Nurgle. So that's quite nice. And in Hegendorf. Some death gems, very nice. More death gems. And then we lost uh, Nurgle's Rot somewhere. Gold plus 124, okay. Um, I think we get a forced retreat here. And I believe this means it's going to be they retreat to a friendly province. Oh man, our plague must have spread all... <coughs> Sort of all over the place. Okay. That's interesting. Um, these are now a good bit spookier. We're, we're not yet... Uh, now, we can do some different things. We can do... Because we did get Alt-5, so we could do Invulnerability. I don't think that's actually going to help us too much. And in terms of nature, we don't really get anything terribly good. Um, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to keep this script. Uh, though ideally we... <clears throat> What's our seed strength here? 400. That's pretty good. Oh man, we're getting a lot more of these uh, critters here. Let's put these guys down here. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, these chaos creatures that we have. I uh, guess we're going to keep them up here. They're, they're all promoting. We are getting... I mean, it's taken a long-ass time, but the conversion feels like, you know, that it's working. We're getting a lot of them. Do these guys have uh, recuperation? They don't. That's unfortunate. These guys don't either. That's also unfortunate. Um, oh, we actually can split these up. Okay, let's, let's reorganize here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these guys on a flank attack closest. Attack closest. We'll put these up here. Um, this looks fine to me. This is our new uh, Demon Prince. Legendary Cruelty. That's kind of cool. This commander's around... Okay, so he, he gets a uh, chance of dealing permanent afflictions. He also gets fear, I believe. Yeah. Um, there's a bird attacking my window. That's exciting. 
Uh, I think we're going to have this guy move in patrol here as well. And... You know, I wouldn't actually be opposed to getting... Oh god, we're still too poor. <laughs> we really need more temples. Because uh, we're actually getting to this kind of critical point where we're not going to be able to afford them shortly. So I think we need to go ahead and make some more. Let's go ahead and make a temple here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a temple here as well. Uh, this guy's auto site searching. Okay, so we've got this guy's going to hide and wait. Um, Nurgle's Rod has spread here. Okay, we're going to hide and wait. We're going to hide and wait. Nurgle's Rod is here. Perfect. Nurgle's Rot is not here. We're going to hide and wait. Uh, Nurgle's Rot is here. That's good. Nurgle's Rot is in Nurgle. So we're going to go ahead and move this guy south. Nurgle's Rot is here. Um, I'm going to go ahead, if I can, and make one more of these Plague Doctors. We're going to ideally put him here. We need to spread the rot. Uh, okay. Uh, we're also going to cast Mother Oak. Uh, this is going to probably turn this into a forest, I believe, because it's going to give us plus two growth in the casting province. Uh, we'll have this guy run around and site search as well. Okay, we're picking up enchantment too. That's going to give us personal regen. I don't think there's much here for death that we need. Um, twice more would be interesting on these guys. They're not demons, so it should work for them. I think we're okay. Though, that being said, we actually can move these guys down here onto a different commander, and then we can have our holy guy preach. We're, yeah, I think we're going to do that. <clears throat> Just start slowly working some of these candles. Um, we'll see if the goblins attack over here. I'm kind of hoping they don't. It's possible this army moved over here and then it angles up, but uh, we'll find out uh, in a short moment. And uh, this guy actually needs to be back here. And we're going to give him the same script here. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's see what happens. All right, and we've got a new turn where we have cast Mother Oak. That's quite nice. Uh, we got a fabulous peacock with some gems. We got some of this. Okay. Um, not a lot of promotion events or anything. We did get seven Chaos Warriors promoted. Which, they're going to be down here now. Some Putrid Blightkin. Go ahead and move this guy up here. Perfect, perfect. Um... Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and take these guys and scoot them back a tile. Okay, can we select somebody else? Um, my thinking here is I want them to wade. Uh, they can wade through, I think, these smaller units. Okay. He's sight searching. This actually looks like a bug. I don't think it should move. I wonder, will he search? We're going to actually do this for science. Because um, I won't be able to manually search here. But I can automatically sight search. Question is, it moved here to sight search, but it can't search. But will it search? I don't know. Let's find out. 
Um, we've got three guys who are about to evolve this turn, though, so that's nice. We'll get, hopefully, three more Chaos Lords. Though some of them, of course, will uh, succumb to the plague. Um, and we got, importantly, Enchantment, too. So that means we get to update this script. Um, really, what we're going to do, because we're probably not going, especially verse uh, Cavalry, you know, we're not going to have that many turns. So we're going to patrol here with all these guys. And we're going to put this dude up here in the front. I'm going to put these guys behind. I'm going to put this guy right here in the middle behind. And he is going to cast a uh, blessing and then retreat. We're going to have these guys do... Um, actually, I think we're going to have them do personal regen and then enlarge. And then skeletal body and then attack closest. Um, or we can probably do one more. Let's have them do Holy Avenger, Holder Cast, the Spell Attack Closest. This way, um, I'm going to make this control too. Um, okay, this will be fine, I think. We might lose this guy if they attack, but I think that's fine. Uh, we should break through the walls this turn. It'd be really nice to have over 500 Siege Strength, and uh, we've got the forces here to make that happen. So let's go ahead and grab these. And uh, they can make it all the way over this way, so that's quite good news for us. Uh, we haven't moved Nurgle's Rot yet. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to move these guys in. This will certainly guarantee a one-turn pop. We'll put these guys here on the flanks. Put them on attack rear instead of attack closest, like their compatriots. We'll put these guys up at the front, attack closest. Um, have this guy hide and wait. Um, our god is cast Mother Oak, which is quite nice. Hopefully that will pay for itself. The AI is certainly going to overcast me at some point, but... Um, we got a temple built here. We need to build a temple here as well. Uh, oh, man. Altendor, so these guys are getting murked. I believe this is... Is this corn? No, I think these are the Chaos Dwarfs. Oh, yeah. Chaos Dwarf Crossbowmen. So, hmm. They look to be in a very bad way. Being attacked by Altendorf and then some other folks. Um... I'm gonna have this guy go out and auto site search as well. Or no, we'll have what we'll the Earth random do it. Um, yeah, we're starting to get a few more temples, which is kind of good. Uh, this is the goblins, which I don't like. I think. <clears throat> I think we want to kill the goblins next, if possible. And I'd like to turn on cap recruitment again. You know what? Maybe we get another swath of these guys. We've been making a fair number of these, but I think... I think this might be better. We should be getting close to getting another dominion strength as well. Yeah, this... When we build a temple here, we will get it. Um, and then we're preaching. We're going to be storming next turn. Uh, let's have this guy do... I don't know if we want bark skin against these guys. Um, we can have him do enlarge. That makes uh, lots of sense to me. We're going to have him at the end of his script do personal regen as well. He's going to get regeneration from uh, our Bless, but um, it would not hurt. Yeah, to, to have this guy a little bit tougher. We don't really want to lose him. And he is going to be hanging out with this army for this turn at least. He's a blood too as well. You know, we're going to be storming next turn. I think it actually makes sense for these guys to be present because they can actually jump in the back and it's going to make, I think, storming the fort way easier. So I think we're actually going to move these guys as well. And 
And we're going to bring with us some more troops. What's our supply situation? Oh yeah, we're hardly using any supplies. Okay. Mother Oak is here. I feel pretty good about this. We're just a little poor. We really need to spread our dominion. I need to make some indie priests. That's really what it is. We're going to need quite a few indie priests. Um, this might be the only place I can build them. So I think we're going to turn them on. We're going to make probably like six of them. Uh, and they're going to run around and try to keep our dominion up. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Uh, the Bretonians have attacked as we moved out, which is a little annoying. Um, unfortunately, they killed our PD. Fortunately, they didn't have much stuff here. Um, this should give us enough time to uh, storm this fort and then come over here and knock them off. Which is fine. Um, because, yeah, we're going to storm. And not only are we going to storm, but we are going to storm with our big boys. Oh, let's look at events here. We got a Chaos Lord and another Chaos Lord, so that's very nice. Some Earth Gems. Huh, I wonder if this is cut off. Uh, do do doesn't look like we found any sites. Okay, so we're gonna storm. Let's go ahead. We're doing divine blessing, so we can actually change this script. Or no, we're we keep the script. We're gonna do attack rear. Holy Avenger is going to be good here because we are kind of worried about clearing this stuff out. I'm going to go ahead and put this on number three. So attack rear. This looks good to me. <clears throat> and we're going to storm. This will give us this fort. Then we'll come knock these guys off and take another fort. Um, we've got actually a lot more troops here, which is quite good news for us. Uh, these guys will be able to participate in this battle on Bretonia in a second. And we're starting to get uh, enough where we can two-turn pop these forts, which is going to be quite nice for us. Um, we're going to start moving some of these priests around uh, and preaching up our dominion. Uh, let's just check here with the plague bearers. Wait, I had this guy hiding and waiting, but I don't think there's an adjacent. Uh, yeah, we don't have. We need to move this guy here, actually. Nurgle's Rot, Nurgle's Rot. We need Nurgle's Rot here. We need Nurgle's Rot here. We have Nurgle's Rot here. Okay, I think this works. Uh, we also have some more money. Uh, that means we're going to turn back on mage recruitment as we can. Uh, and hopefully get some more Chaos Warriors. I think we had a good event this turn as well. It's partially our, our reason. Uh, we do want a temple here. It's going to actually allow us to get one more sacred a turn, which is going to be quite nice. And I think this is fine. Do we, we don't really have any nature summons. Not sure what we're going to spend our nature gems on, if we're being completely honest, guys. We do have a lot of them. Um, we could try to do Gift of Nature's Bounty or something, but we got to... If we do go that direction, we're going to need uh, a lot. You know, we're going to be running up Conjuration, though, too. I wonder if there's anything good here. 
Lamia Queens is something we could do. Um, usually you would get this to like help break into blood or something. Uh, we could do Ivy Kings. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have stuff. Uh, Enchanted Forest would also be a lot of fun. Uh, this one's pretty cool. So you get, basically, you get uh, a bunch of random attacks uh, against enemies. I don't know how that's going to interact with diplomacy. Okay. We do need to kill these guys. Uh, let's have this guy actually come down here. We've got some sacreds we need to pick up. Uh, we're going to turn on recruitment here again. And do we... Let's see if we're... Okay, we are recruiting here, so that's good. All right, most of our forts are humming along. I think we've got basic logistics handled. And we're storming. I should also leave one guy out here uh, in case we fail. I'll leave, like, some random guy. Storm. All right, let's do it. All right, a new turn and a battle inside a fort. We only get one battle this turn, it looks like. Let's see if it works. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. And my actual worry here is that somehow they kill one of our demon princes. But I think they're going to be sufficient. Like, these water elementals might could kill them because they've got armor-piercing attacks. So these guys are pretty thick. They've got 20% regen on top of 100 hit points. So yeah, 20 regen a turn. I think they're going to be okay. They are taking a fair amount of damage. And what'd they get hit by here? This is, I mean, they're not taking chip damage here for like, oh, we got hit by 10 points. I mean, they did get hit by 10 points. Oh, and a, a heroic blade. Interesting. But I saw there was another hit earlier for like 20 points. Um, yeah, it's a long... It'd be cool if there were filters for this. Like, times you took damage. Ooh. Three times damage versus larger beings. Okay, this is partly what's fucking us up. Fortunately, we're uh, we're big thick boys. Wait, he looks like he's fighting him. What is he doing? Okay, I don't see any attacks on. This guy's thick as hell. Holy shit! Oh, a guardian spirit knight. So it's ethereal. One hit point left. Oh my god, he just killed that great that greater chaos spawn. Holy shit. Right, we got an affliction here. But we do have recuperation on this final form, which is quite nice. Um Oh, we should do elemental fortitude as part of our script too. We got a moon blade. Okay. Nurgle's rod has died out. We got a new Chaos Lord. More Nurgle's Rod has died out. Uh, it's spread twice. Okay. So it looks like it died out two or three times and it's spread two, two times. So basically that means we're going to have to figure out where it's spread to. So this guy, we're going to have to move him somewhere. Uh... Okay, you can wait. Okay, Nurgle's Rod has finally spread to this province. Lord knows we've been trying for a long time. Um, okay, we're going to have this guy come down here. I wonder if having these guys present could stop it from spreading. That would be kind of cool. All right, he's going to come over here. Now, a lot of the places I had had dudes, like, where did it go to? 
uh, has spread to this part. Ormer? And Dunes of Death. I don't know, it spread three times. Sanguine Swamp, Dunes of Death, and Ormer. Sanguine Swamp, that's this one. Where's Ormer? Here. Okay, I mean, that's kind of good. Okay, this guy's gonna preach. Um... What's the 190 guys here? Okay. God, there's not going to be much left of Bretonia by the time we're done with them. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I think what we're going to do is sally forth back this. I mean, we've got so much siege strength here. I'm kind of inclined actually to take this because we can take this in one turn. Which would be quite nice. Uh, I just turn off some of this recruitment. We'll be able to make another temple here. Or no, I think we make a temple here. And this guy join the... Join the crew. Uh, we'll have this guy just wait. As so we continue to, to shuffle these guys over this direction. Uh, okay. I think this is fine. I'm not really sure where... Let's take a look at score graphs again. It's been a hot minute. Provinces, we're only position three. That's not good. The goblins are starting to go ham. I don't like this. Uh, we're going to have to send these guys to various parts of our realm. We're going to work on getting a few of these border provinces done rather than spread our guys too thin. Um, so like if there's an enemy candle in a province of ours, uh, we'll put probably at least two guys, maybe three. We're going to do one more round of indie priests, I think, to try to... We should have probably done this a bit earlier to just have a bit better control of the uh, of our dominion. Nurgle's Rot. All right, hopefully we can get Nurgle's Rot spread over this way. How much fortification do we have left? We should have at least one more turn. No, I don't think... Because if we storm... I don't think we have three turns left, so I actually need to knock them off this turn, which means we're actually going to come over this way. The reason is if I went here... Like, okay, they're going to have this popped, I think, not this turn, but next turn, which means they would storm in three turns. If I moved here, I would have to wait, wait, storm. That would be the same time as they are storming this one. Um, and we could try to knock this off with heroes, but I don't think we're going to. Or we're not going to try. So. Okay, construction four. We'll get our blood economy going with that. Um... I think Soul Vortex might be worth picking up. Then I think we run up to Well of Misery. Maybe, yeah. Um, okay, I think that's it. We could, by the way, probably try to win off Thrones pretty soon if we wanted to, but we're here to play. I just want to make the Throne requirements kind of lower for this game. Just so that when I feel it starts dragging out, we can just push for the win. And I don't have to just, like, arbitrarily end it. Even though that is a bit of an arbitrary kind of thing. Um, okay, we need, I need to combine some of these forces. So these guys need to go in this squad. I think we're going to go ahead and make this a double line now. And... I'm gonna move these guys here. And I think we're going to make this a double line as well. And I think we're going to move these guys here. We're going to move these guys here. I'm going to move these guys here and move these guys here. Okay, and we're going to do these as double lines as well. And we're going to do them on attack rear. That's perfect. 
Very much perfect. One thing I like about this, I don't have soft commanders anywhere. Like normally you've got, I mean, even if you're giants, normally your mages are usually kind of soft. <laughs> not, not in Nurgle. Like flyers and stuff landing on your things, you're like, yeah, I don't really care. Dreamwood Circle. We don't have glamour. It would be good to. We should try to get some of these. I'm gonna do that this turn. How much were they? 180. Okay, and then uh, I probably need to do some of this as well. Let's make sure we have six. Okay, we're out of money, but we'll come back and do PD next turn. All right, hopefully we've got a few more battles here where we can level up our dudes. And um, yeah, we're probably getting to the end of the episode here. I'll, I'll go ahead and start uh, the next episode uh, and see, see you guys then.